surprise Sarah and draw a Halloween puppy. Yeah, we're gonna draw a puppy dressed up as a witch. What do we need for this lesson? A marker, some paper, and something to go with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yeah. We're first gonna draw our puppy's nose. We're gonna draw a little low so that we have room for the witch hat because they're really tall. We're gonna draw the letter V right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a pointy. sharp. Yeah, pointy V. <laughs> I like it. Then we're going to draw a line on the top. Now, if you want, you could draw this a little bit longer on each side. Yeah, go ahead. You could draw a little longer on each side, just like this, and then draw another V that comes down further. So I kind of redrew it too. That way it's a little wider. Is that cool? Yeah. And then let's color in that shape. There you go. Now we're gonna draw the eyes. We're gonna draw two circles. I'm gonna draw one over here that's this big and another one that's the same size over here. There's our puppy eyes. Yeah. Yeah, and then another one on the other side. I like how big you're drawing your eyes. And then let's draw a smaller circle in the top left. What's this called again? The little highlight. circle, yeah, highlight to make your eyes look shiny and friendly. Yeah. Now we're gonna color in the big circle, but leave the little circles white. Now, anytime that we fast forward the video, or if we go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need that extra time. You can also pause the video if you wanna add more things to your drawing or change your drawing to make it look different. All right, I'm almost done coloring, and there we go. How about you? Oh, you got a little more. And... There you go. <laughs> now let's draw the mouth. We're gonna draw a little curve right here, and a little curve going the other way. Looks like a W. Then we could draw the little tongue sticking out. Yeah. All right, now let's draw the witch hat on top. I'm gonna draw a curve. We're gonna start over here and we're gonna draw a curve that goes over the eyes and back <laughs> down. <laughs> yes. It's like a big mountain but with a face on it. <laughs> oh yeah, it does look like it. <laughs> then we're gonna draw the ears. We're gonna start next to the eye and we're gonna come down and then back up like that. Yeah. Then let's repeat that same step over here on the right side. Back up. Looks like a big letter V also. Oh, yeah. look, I love those ears. One's curved and one's, one's pointy. pointy. That's okay. It's all right if our two drawings are looking different too. They're both turning out awesome. Yeah. The most important thing is to have food. Yeah, and to practice. practice. And it's okay if your drawings look different too because I'm sure they're turning out awesome. Yes. All right, let's keep going. Now let's draw our puppy's head. I'm gonna start here underneath the ear and I'm gonna draw a curve that connects over to the other ear. There's our puppy head. Mm -hmm. It's really cute. Now let's draw the nose or the snout on our puppy. Well, we kind of already have the nose, but let's add a curve in between the eyes. This is for the snout. Yeah, and then we're gonna draw a U that connects from the eye, goes down, and then back up, connects to the other eye. <laughs> Good job, Austin. <laughs> now let's finish the hat. Over here, we're gonna draw a line that comes in and connects to the cheek. And we'll do the same thing over here, connects to the cheek on the other side. Now we're gonna draw the top of the hat. We'll start over here and we're gonna draw a curve that comes out of this little corner, comes up and then stops right above the eye. And then we can do the same thing over here. Look how it's getting further away and then stop right above the eye. Now we're gonna draw the top of the hat, the pointed part, but let's also draw it kind of crooked. We're gonna start here and we're gonna draw a curve that comes up and bends over. And then let's draw it bending the other way and then back down. <laughs> now we're gonna draw the other side of our hat. We're gonna draw a curve that comes up, not too far. Then we're gonna come out a little bit. 
And now we're going to draw a curve that comes up and gets really close to this corner over here. Yes, keep going. <laughs> yeah. And then we're going to draw the point. It's going to come down and connect to there. That's a crooked witch hat. Yes. I like it. Now let's draw the band that's going across the, the top. The point apart, we'll draw a curve that connects these two corners. And then let's draw another curve right above it that matches. Yeah, we did it. We drew our, our puppy's hat, witch hat. <laughs> now let's draw the body. Let's first draw two lines coming out of the chin. Next, let's draw the legs. We're going to draw another line right next to, or two lines in the middle. And you could leave a little space. Oh, I like how small your body is. So you're going to have smaller legs than me, which is perfect. <laughs> I like it. And then another one. These are the legs. So let's draw the feet. We'll connect the outside to that first inside line. And we'll do the same over here. Little puppy paws. And then we could draw two curves for the toes. And two on the other side. And then let's draw our puppy's belly. And let's draw the back paws sticking out from the back over here. We'll draw a little C shape. And then we could also add two little toe lines. And do the same thing on the right side. Backward C. And two little toe lines. Okay, let's give our puppy a witch cape. We'll start here, and we're gonna draw a curve that comes out like this, around, and then connect to the, the back foot. And we started right in the middle of the chin. And then we'll repeat that same line that comes out over here, and does the same thing, but on the other side. <laughs> and then let's start here, up on his shoulder, or her shoulder, and we'll connect down to that curve. And then let's do the same thing on the right side. And we got to add a little bow right here where you tie the cape. We'll draw a raindrop shape, and then another raindrop shape next to it for the two loops on the bow, and then the two ends to this, of the string coming down. Okay, we got to add one more detail. Let's give our puppy socks. Yes. <laughs> Which socks? We're going to draw, yeah, the top of the socks, draw two curves, and then we'll draw the bottom of the socks down here. Then let's also add stripes. I'm going to draw a line in the middle. That's for one stripe. And then add another line above and below. That's a lot of stripes. We'll do the same thing over here. One in the middle, and then one above and also below. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing our puppy witch. Well, we still need to color it. This part we're going to fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video if you want to use our drawings as inspiration. But you could also color your drawings any way you want. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome, we did it! We finished coloring our witch puppy and it turned out awesome. I love your drawing very much. Now these are the colors that we use. We're using biannual alcohol-based markers. You can check out artforkidshub.com for all the parents and teachers out there if they want to purchase the same markers that we use. Now we used uh, Y529. This was our dark brown. We also used Y611 for the light brown. Of course we used black for the hat and also the cape. G406 for the socks and Y505 for the hat, for the little band across the hat. And R213 for the tongue. Yeah, the tongue. And we also used R703 for the purple on the hat. But I don't think this set has a, a very good purple. It's either too light or too dark. So we layered it with colored pencil on top. This is our Prismacolor Permaviolet. That's the name of the purple. But you guys 
can use whatever you have at home. Yeah, if you have oil pastels or colored pencils, that would work perfect too. You could even paint it. Ooh, that would be cool. We hope you had fun drawing your Halloween puppy. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you have fun adding more things to your drawing. You could add a background, maybe a spooky background. Yeah. With, ooh, you could draw a cauldron with bubbling spells and potions. Mm -hmm. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Bye -bye.